So uh, one way it's uh, create the VOP and for attribute VOP now I can close and create more room here and this VOP is working on the normal I have, have here so and now I want to show that like this yeah maybe I can also put um, under okay but um, yeah it's only the conceptual now so we can uh, use that now I want to use that that view for understand better what I do uh, however here we have the our normal and our point normal okay inside the VOP I can create the yeah, it's uh, operative. I can say I can create the particular operator, particular SOP. It's a um, particular node, it's uh, called a sn snippet. And here you see you have one input and no output. Uh, really, uh, we have one input, and when we can connect, in some case, when you connect, uh, he creates automatically the different output for you for example here you don't take care about how is working now the VOP maybe we can talk about that in, in in the time because I prefer show you with the example for understand better how it's work however I need to initialization the normal so we can do the before we can connect the normal with the normal in this case, we can connect normal with the snipper. And we can say it's out normal because I want to work on normal. If I connected, for example, with the position, the out is position. So it take one attribute here and it's go out with the attribute is the input. Okay, and so we can work with the normal. We can connect normal with normal. Now I want uh, connect obviously that here and see wow I have my normal here maybe I can go to the grid and I want to say one so we can see better and maybe I can uh, use the black the dark so we can see with uh, this uh, channel color and you can see very well very well what we do okay here I have my normal and now I want with the snipper I need to say I want to create the uh, spread parameter. Spread parameter is the difference between this normal and new normal. Essentially what I want to do I want to take the normal I have my sphere here I have my normal here I want to take the normal and I want to change with the snipper. So, sorry, yeah, with the snipper, I want to change using the uh, the spread value. Spread value is that. I want to create the new position for my normal. And I want to, when I change, for example, the spread, maybe it's, uh, I say one number, for example, it's, uh, it's two, it's here. It's a free, it's here. And if I plus, uh, for example, five, it's here. If I say, for example, uh, minus one is become here. And I can check the rotation of my new normal with this value. For create that, I need to create the constant value. The constant value, it's the, uh, the value. You can see also with parameters, it's uh, automatically, it's create the float parameter with the value and it's one, two, three, two, zero, two, etc., etc., etc. You can use that, it's uh, only the number, you can apply to the next, you see it's called value. In the snipper, I have here the variable name, the first variable name, I can assign, obviously, it's the normal because it's my normal, it's my uh, important uh, variable I need to use. So N for normal, I say it's the spread, okay? 
or I can call also uh, angle variation, but it's spread, it's okay, it's also, it's understand uh, vex for me in very quickly way. And now I want to create the random variable. And obviously also in this case, maybe I am more fixed, uh, crazy for these parameters. I use the ptnum. ptnum, I think is the most used in most way and in most situation. So pt random, ptnum, because ptnum is obviously is constant you can find every time. And you connect here. Uh, obviously this is random, this is called run, and my variable is run. And here is to say, hey, what kind of uh, binding do you want to export? Binding, it's like the bind export you created, uh, we, cre we created in the previous uh, um, example when we created our random. And uh, here you can find inside your element. And obviously I want to keep out with n, okay? In this way, I say, hey, I take the n, is go to uh, cooking here, and I just take, for example, this, my spread, and also apply this uh, value, and is cooking out this. But the problem is now I don't see nothing. Why? Because I need to create the code snipper. The code snipper, it's very easy to create it here because we can create, we want exit with, uh, go out with the n, so the n is equal, and I need to write something. Something, uh, in this case, we can use the function, is called the sample direction, and we can use the sample direction if you write sample underscore direction, you have a con and uniform. Uniform, it's a uniform way. Con, it's like a con in the middle of your point, and you can use with the, uh, the degrees by this con, okay? Uh, essentially, you have your point here, and with the con is uh, right, the imagination, you have the big con here, and you can move it around this con with your new normal so you can go around here this is uh, how is work the the coin obviously i need to say what uh, he uh, do with the coin with this this um, sample diffusion coin so open brackets and uh, i say uh, my um, variable n it's the first variable you can find and use you this in this bracket you say what is cooking how how, how is breading and you can say okay now is a use for example the spread and use also for example the random and this is the variable you can find here you can add also the another variable for example if you add uh, the variable for position because you want also change the position in the time you can use that but i don't recommend it to use that and finally if you go here and you can change for example this parameter and bring up okay it's not working why it's not working you can go to check. Ah, yeah, comma and point because it's a vex expression. And if you go here and you can change this value, you can see I change the con of my normal. Okay. Obviously, here you can use also the parameter. If you use the parameter, you can set it like you want. For example, you can call value spread and I can call that label value spread. It's float, the range you can say minus and plus one another. You can assign the difference value. And you can 
apply this here and you can see uh, if you promote by default is uh, float value it's zero but uh, if I promote click here promote now I, maybe I have the uh, problem okay I have here I see I can change but also because the range is too big and so if I slide a few I have the error here but this is the one way for I have here your parameters however I don't want this I delete okay with this you can change and you can uh, see here but you need to come here for promote you can for example extrapolate with promote here but uh, this is one way you can also normalize that because normalize and what is it to normalize every normal every value it's the value from 0 to 1 and with normalize you can say it's 0 to 1 you can help for uh, understand better where is your position so you can create the normalize and you can put here is a help for normalize this line okay now this is work and if you put for example i can put for example here go here and delete now or disable this and and for one moment okay if I go here and I want to change my constant a little bit, yeah. And if I go to see my result, okay, we can fix on some geometry here, okay. If I come back here and if I change the value, for example, to 0 0.1, yeah, it's changed. We can see also here change our parameter spreadsheet, our attribute here, change and change. 